Hey, welcome to Gadgets and Gizmos, the show where we like to push your buttons. We're here to provide you with informative tech tips and popular product picks. I'm your host, Mark Saltzman, and today I'm joined by my co-host and fellow gadgeteer, <laughs> Amber MacArthur. Hey, Amber. That one wasn't so bad, actually. No, that Mark. was a pretty good I'm, opening. I'm always worried about what you're going to call uh, me. Well, so. you know, our, our fans love you, and uh, evident by our, uh, by the way, GadgetsandGizmosTV.com is where you can post your uh, thoughts and messages to us. Uh, so, but I digress. What's on top for today? <laughs> um, today I'm actually going to talk about gadgets and gear for a to school everywhere from you know elementary school all the way through university or college awesome so we have some good products to test out and I know pay is going to be here to take a trip to the uh, Toronto Stock Exchange see what technology is involved in your uh, financial decisions but before we get to that if you think you're cool as a cucumber guess what if you could put your relaxation skills to the test and use your calm composure to win a game would you well if you're getting anxious just trying to figure out what we're talking about let's see how Amber lost this stress-free game when she was at next Fest in Chicago have a look I'm here with Magnus from a research institute in Sweden. I'm wearing this funky headband and we're about to play a game called Mindball. So tell me a little bit the idea behind Mindball. The game is about relaxation, so you want to compete in, in relaxation. And um, there's a ball in front of you. Yep, I uh, see it I will there. push this button and it will go to the middle. And I have a competitor on the other side. So basically the, the concept is that whoever is more relaxed will win the game. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. So if you're more relaxed than your opponent, the ball will go to the other it's side. It's coming my but... way, Magnus. <laughs> so if you try to think about something else, and you so try I... to not look at the ball. Okay, so if I try to maybe just breathe a little bit and not think of... How did you come up with this idea? Let me just... I'll, I'll breathe a little while you explain. In most games it's about uh, competition and it's very, very much about adrenaline. So we wanted to do something else. We wanted to do a game where you kind of a slacker game. Uh, so you compete in doing nothing. So that's the whole point. It's kind of like yoga a little bit, I would it say. It is. Most people that's very good at meditation are good at mindful. So, so uh, I'm not so good. <laughs> well, you keep talking to me. So <laughs> that's part of the problem. <laughs> okay, so this is available in the consumer market right now. Yeah. So people can check it out and they could actually buy it. Um, how much would it cost? It's about twenty thousand dollars at the moment. Twenty thousand um, dollars. If you want to find out more information about this, you can go to noblequest.com. I see the ball coming towards me. That's making me so nervous. Magnus, you have to give me some tips, and you can check out what Mindball is all about. Thanks, Magnus. Deep breathing. Deep breathing. <laughs> I lost again. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look good in a headband. I can honestly oh, say. Yeah. Yeah. I actually wore that all weekend. You know, I can guess why you lost this game, why you, you weren't relaxed enough. You've got this good looking European guy, you know, chatting you up. I didn't even notice him. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, why actually, are you kicking me under this table? I, I, it was lots of fun, actually. And, um, you know, we sat there and I realized that, you know, I was very hyper. I drank a lot of coffee and I had no chance of winning. We I was playing against our producer, producer Katya, and she right. was totally zen like, and I was well, like, Well, ah. that's Katya for you. Yeah, so. Um, um, she Plus has the right spend, job, I guess. Exactly. Plus, if you spent, what was it, $20,000 yes. on that, you, there's no way that you're going to win a game that you have to be relaxed for. You're going to be obviously a little stressed with exactly. that Exactly. I point. think I should stick to maybe taking yoga classes. <laughs> it's a little less expensive. Sounds good, Amber. All right. Well, coming up next, if you can't get enough of your favorite TV shows but don't want to shell out for a new set, why not use your existing computer monitors to watch TV? We'll show you a new gadget that helps you turn your PC into a TV. That's right after this break when Gadgets and Gizmos returns. <laughs> A wild experience. It's exciting. Wild Things with Dominic Monaghan, Monday at 9 on OLN. The officer found me and I was bleeding to death. I started off with a cold. Eventually, my doctor sent me to the hospital and told me I had uh, leukemia. Madison has a heart defect. They were pretty convinced Madison wasn't going to come home. It will be a lifelong battle for Madison. Those units of blood saved my life. We realized the Canadian Blood Services was going to be a major part of our lives for the rest of our lives. Thanks to all the donors, 
you just realized how many people were actually there. They weren't there in person, but their blood was there. The lady from the grocery store, the man that cuts your hair, trying to help save your child's life. Become a blood donor. Call one 2 donate to book an appointment. Canadian Blood Services. It's in you to give. It's game day, buddy, and boy are we in for a doozy. Oh, man. Mr. Clean is dominating the competition. Mr. Clean is tackling mess like some sort of mess tackler. Oh, and what's this? That's the scent of Gain Original Fresh. That counts as a performance enhancer. I am complaining to the Cleaning Products Athletics Board. Did you just make that up? Yes, I did, and I'm the president. You're losing it, buddy. Maybe you should hit the showers. Mr. Clean already did. They're spotless. Oh, I bet. Mr. Clean with Gain Original Fresh scent. Victory over dirt's never been easier. Or smelled so great. Hey, Coco. Boss? You like pleasing customers? How about a promotion? Yeah, awesome. Here's the deal. Unlimited talk Canada-wide, unlimited messaging, and one gig of data for $60 a month. Customers will love it, but what about my promotion? In your dreams. Oh, I smell coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. As always, Fido is giving your budget a break with unlimited talk Canada-wide. Unlimited messaging, one gig of data. Call, display, and voicemail for $60 a month. And you get one month free. Hey, welcome back to G&G. &G. Imagine being able to watch your favorite TV programs like Gadgets and Gizmos, of course, wherever you are, even if you're halfway around the world. Well, this is exactly what this sling box promises, a small machine that redirects, or what the company calls place shifts, the TV signal from any cable box or satellite receiver or even a PVR, personal video recorder, to almost any web-connected device you've got, including a Windows XP-based uh, PC that we'll be looking at today. So we've got the skinny on this promising TV tech, and uh, I'm here with Amber to uh, demonstrate it. So again, this is called the sling box. The sling box, mm -hmm. okay. So what this does, just like we said in the intro is that you connect this to your TV mm -hmm. so you can uh, connect it via uh, the regular coaxial cable if it's a regular cable or if you have a cable box or satellite receiver you connect it uh, to this device and when you plug it into your TV you then install software on your computer and if you've got a way to connect the box to uh, your Ethernet because you do need a, a router or a modem so you have to be online for this you board. have to be online yeah it's an internet uh, it's too bad it doesn't have Wi-Fi in the box we'll talk a bit about that later but you do need uh, to connect it to a broadband connection. So you need okay. a broadband connection. You install uh, the Sling Player software on a computer, and then you can actually watch live TV. You, lo you launch the Sling Player software from any Windows XP-based machine. In the future, any uh, connected device, like a Windows mobile-based cell phone or a PDA that uses a pocket PC mm -hmm. operating system, and you can actually watch why, your TV anywhere you are in the world again over the internet That's so it's kind of wild I remember Sony if you remember Sony came out with a product called uh, location free TV yeah. and it's the same idea uh, and that came with the router this doesn't so you do need an existing uh, cable modem or router okay. so let me just show you how it works basically this is it it kind of looks flimsy feel yeah, like it it's does. It feels very, very plastic uh, cheap yeah almost. yeah pretty cheap but that's you know again it works and, and yeah. I have been trying it out not perfect but it does work and then on the back of this device here if you can zoom in a little bit here's all your standard connections Connections. That's for your power. This is for your network cord, your Ethernet uh, cable. This is for S video out. You can connect it in different ways, whether it's RCA or S video. Of course, S video will give you better video quality than RCA will, or a component, sorry, composite. And um, th this is, of course, where you put your cable antenna cable in, if, in if that's how you're using it. Yeah. So, again, one of the downsides of this, oh, actually, before we get to that, Amber, let me just show you what the quality looks like. I've got this software running on my computer right now where you change the channels. We're not doing this live. This is not connected to a TV because I wanted to bring this into the studio to show you how it works. So I recorded this, uh, I recorded this right here, and this is what it, exactly what it looks like. Let me just um, move this mouse here so I can get rid of that screen. So this is the video clip. Here, let me start it again. Okay, here we go. All right, so this is what it looks like. I'm actually navigating through my uh, satellite. I've got Exp Express View Satellite Service. Okay. So this is what it looks like in the Sling Player. You can watch it in a small screen. I actually pulled up here the TV guide. It works. It's a little bit slow, as you can see, when you go channel up, channel down, punch in a, a channel like, say, 500. It's a little bit slow um, because you're doing this remotely. But as you can see, it works. And you can even um, blow this up full screen so it fills your entire monitor. But keep in mind that the resolution of your monitor is much 
better probably than what your TV is going to offer, so it doesn't look as good. Okay, it'll look better in a window. I have a quick question. Yeah. So what's happening at, on your TV at home? So it's going through. <laughs> good oh, question. Okay. All right, because you can change up and down the channels, the way that works is that you've got to connect these little devices, if you can zoom in here, in front of the IR, the infrared uh, part where your remote communicates to. So that is, this, there's tape underneath here, as you can see, it's sticking. This is uh, what allows you to change the channels. What's happening at home, Amber, is that I'm actually turning on my satellite receiver. TV okay. doesn't need to be on, but my satellite receiver, uh, I can turn it on, I can change channels, but if somebody's at home, like my yeah. wife, if she's watching TV, she's got to watch what I'm watching. Uh, that's, yeah. a, that's the question right, I have. Right, there you go. So that's kind of funny because you can, you know, almost like fight over the remote, but I'm maybe in Hong Kong at a wireless cafe. But as you can see, it works. The quality is pretty good. Um, so let's take a look at the pros and cons. So the product does work. It does live up to its promise that you can watch live TV or pre-recorded TV if you've got a PVR or a TiVo uh, from any uh, Windows XP-based machine in the world that's online, broadband. It's a cheaper sol a solution than Sony's location-free TV. This retails for $250. The location-free TV is a lot more. And it's very easy to set up. I had it done in only a few minutes. Some of the things I didn't like is that you need to have a broadband router or network bridge. So again, in the same room that you've got your TV signal, you need a router or a modem, or you got to buy a wireless bridge, or uh, what I use is the Netgear uh, wall-plugged bridge, which okay. can cost about 50 bucks each. You need two of them. And another thing I didn't like is that you have to watch the same channels, person mm -hmm. at home, something Amber uh, brought up. And lastly, you can't record the, the streaming TV programming. I would love to, you know how with Media Center PCs, you, you can actually record. record TV on your yeah. PC, and you use your hard drive as a recorder? You can't do it. You the company it says up. it's for uh, piracy reasons and things like that. But you can do it with Media Center PCs, so there you go. Anyways, that's the review of our Slingbox. You can go to slingmedia.com to learn more about it. All right, coming up next, Pay takes us on a tour of the stock exchange to see the tech behind your financial future. We'll be placing bets on that bull market when Gadgets and Gizmos continues after this break. Coming up next on Gadgets and Gizmos, where's the trading floor gone? I take a look at the Toronto Stock Exchange. It's time to drive something different. Something that's never been seen before. Something that can deliver the wow factor. And the, oh wow, something The all new 2013 Dodge Dart. I, I got it, I got it made. I got it made, I got it made. Fresh and subway. Subs made just the way I say. I got it made, I got it made, I got it made. Fresh and subway. You've got it made with Subway Restaurant's Italian collection. Crank up the crunch with green peppers on the Italian BMT, have the chicken pizziola melt on our famous flatbread, or why not throw some tomatoes or black olives on that meatball pepperoni melt? Subway. Think fresh, eat fresh. It's game day, buddy, and boy are we in for a doozy. Oh, man. Mr. Clean is dominating the competition. Mr. Clean is tackling mess like some sort of mess tackler. Oh, and what's this? That's the scent of Gain Original Fresh. That counts as a performance enhancer. I am complaining to the Cleaning Products Athletics Board. Did you just make that up? Yes, I did, and I'm the president. You're losing it, buddy. Maybe you should hit the showers. Mr. Clean already did. They're spotless. Oh, I bet. Mr. Clean with Gain Original Fresh scent. Victory over dirt's never been easier or smelled so great. Welcome back to G&G. &G. Buy, sell, how many shares? Well, Pay takes a look at the evolution of the Toronto Stock Exchange, or TSX. See how far these shares, stocks, and trading floor secrets have come from past to present day. Oh, wait a sec, I think I'm getting a call from my broker. Here, roll the tape. I'm with Steve Key. We're at the Toronto Stock Exchange, and this place has seen a lot of changes over the years, hasn't it? Well, it's a it's a 150 year old institution that's really probably one of the most modern technology shops in the country. And we're in the media center, mm -hmm. and at one point this was a bank, and upstairs was the trading floor. But the trading floor, we're like, you know, I was thinking would be tons of guys on phone shouting, screaming, but it's not like that anymore. Well, it, the way people think about the exchange has always been a trading floor where people come together and make a trade, and lots of activity, and the hands were wailing in the air, and the paper was flying. Well, we went all electronic, and we actually closed our trading floor in 1997. Our trading floor is now where our offices are located, so the people of TSX actually work on what used to be the trading floor. Tell me the 
process of making a trade before all of this, you know, electronic stuff happened? Uh, in the past, it was simply, you could be sitting anywhere and you would phone your broker. Mm -hmm. Your broker would then have to phone someone uh, sitting around the outside of the trading floor. They would have to signal someone on the floor of the exchange to go to a specific spot on the floor where that stock traded. Oh my God. You would then have to meet up with someone else, agree to an order, and then confirm the process all the way back. Wow. So right. It was difficult. So, so right now, th th that process has been cut to the point where you can go to your home computer, you can put an order in, and through one of the broker's um, uh, com computer-based systems, you can actually make a trade. So you've so eliminated you a lot of the well, middle people and then those steps of like going to one person, then going to another person, then confirming and Right, and, and it's a, the time process. So trades that could take uh, a couple of minutes or, or even 30 seconds today are done instantaneously. Tell me about the number of trades that used to be done, you know, say 20 years ago versus the number of trades that can be done now. Well, I, I sort of bridged two eras here at the, at the market. I, I started work here at Toronto Stock Exchange in 1988. And we used to say that a really busy day of trading was about 25 million shares and, and perhaps $250 million worth of trading. We do that in sometimes the first 20 minutes of trading today. On average, we're trading 200, 225 million shares, sometimes three, four billion dollars worth of trading. So when a busy year in the past was 75 or 80 billion dollars, we're coming close to a trillion dollars worth of trading a year. And any chance that it could be even faster in the future? I mean, now it's pretty instant. Like, can you get any faster? Well, I, th I think what you're, what, what you're seeing is that more and more people are taking control of their investments. More of us have uh, self-directed RSPs. Most of that money is put into the marketplace and we're realizing that for a, for a good retirement, we're gonna have to put the, away some sort of nest egg. More and more of that money comes into the equity market because when you go to your bank, you're only getting a certain percent on your bank account, so you want more of a return. So you come to the public markets and that's where the trading activity. Now, will there be more and more? We'd always like to think there would be more and more. <laughs> We were able to keep a lot of the historical uh, artifacts of the marketplace. Everything from a very much a manual ticker where every stock was, was put out on a large tape. You, you hear of ticker tape parades when, when the Leafs actually won the Stanley Cup back in the 1960s. Well, the ticker tape was actually a long piece of tape for every trade, so that's how you would go and get your record. Well now, if you look, we have the electronic message boards and the electronic ticker. So all the information that was available on that piece of paper is now electronic and for anyone to see, anyone with a computer, they could be sitting in restaurants in the downtown core, that information is available to anyone. The evolution of the ticker, the evolution of the way the marketplace was, if you think of the terminology Bay Street mm -hmm. and, and why everybody refers to that as the financial district, at one time people had to be hard connected to the exchange to get their information through a ticker. So a lot of the brokerage firms kept their organizations around the Bay Street corridor. Uh, some of these people had a machine that was almost like a telephone. You'd have to dial it up and you're, you, you would get, so it was like electronic trading. You'd mm -hmm. be able to say, okay, you'd dial up the number for the stock and it would print out. Other things would just be wherever the feed, a phone line could take you. You know, we're looking at 150 plus years of, of, of technology evolution. This exchange was the first exchange to have an electronic box for trading. Push, push a symbol in there, push a number of uh, trades, it would come together and trade. That was revolutionary and we started that in the 1970s. Right. So what you see today, its roots actually began here at Toronto Stock Exchange. Gone are the days of buy, 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 sell, sell, no buy, sell, sell, something that's to do with this, I don't know, those hand signals. Now trading is all high-tech electronic and it's instant. Thanks, Pei. Glad she's not in charge of my portfolio. Okay, <laughs> well up next, whether it's your eight-year-old daughter in public school or your teenage son in college, we'll show you some high-tech gear that will keep your children at the top of their class. Amber's got all that coming up next on Gadgets and Gizmos. Stick around. <laughs> Wild experience. It's exciting. Wild Things with Dominic Monaghan, Monday at 9 on OLN. 
Hey, Coco. Boss? You like pleasing customers? How about a promotion? Yeah, awesome. Here's the deal. Unlimited talk Canada-wide, unlimited messaging, and one gig of data for $60 a month. Customers will love it, but what about my promotion? In your dreams. Oh, I smell coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. As always, Fido is giving your budget a break with unlimited talk Canada-wide. Unlimited messaging, one gig of data. Call, display, and voicemail for $60 a month. And you get one month free. It's game day, buddy, and boy are we in for a doozy. Oh, man. Mr. Clean is dominating the competition. Mr. Clean is tackling mess like some sort of mess tackler. Oh, and what's this? <laughs> That's the scent of Gain Original Fresh. That counts as a performance enhancer. I am complaining to the Cleaning Products Athletics Board. Did you just make that up? Yes, I did, and I'm the president. You're losing it, buddy. Maybe you should hit the showers. Mr. Clean already did. They're spotless. I bet. Mr. Clean with Gain Original Fresh scent. Victory over dirt's never been easier or smelled so great. With a select terrain dial that adjusts the Jeep Grand Cherokee's performance for specific weather and road conditions, even heavy snowstorms won't keep you from getting to work. Our apologies. The most awarded SUV ever. Jeep Grand Cherokee. When news breaks, you have to be prepared to ask tough questions and get the truth. Unfortunately, my hair and all I do to make it broadcast ready can't take the heat. Good thing I uncovered Head & Shoulders Damage Rescue. It rescued my hair and my scalp. Head & Shoulders Damage Rescue relieves dry scalp and washes away flakes while helping to repair damaged hair. Now I use it every day because the camera never blinks. No worries from flakes or hair issues. The proof? See it tonight at 11. Head & Shoulders Damage Rescue. Hey, welcome back to G and G. Remember those days spent in the science lab putting flies under the microscope and zooming on, the, on, on those crazy compound eyes of theirs? Well, today we're going to show you a portable tool that lets the kids do the same thing on their computers at home. And that's not the only great gadget Amber's got with us uh, for students. So let's find out more. All right, you were one of those kids looking at all those crazy insects underneath the microscope. Yeah, I, I loved know. science class. I loved yeah. going into the lab and just experimenting and mixing things surprised. together. You had your pocket protector, your glasses, no, no, no. taping the middle. Of I know, Amber. You can't fool. Us. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not implying that science is geeky. And in this show, you know what? Geek is cool. Geek is cool. So, so let's, uh, speaking of which, I think you've got a really yeah, cool. You know what, here. Mark? You want to rush right into the microscope. I'm that's sorry. not first. Uh, I have I'm these sorry. flies. That are, okay, what are we looking at? Okay, the first thing we're going to look at this is a gadget for kids um, for their lockers at school. And this is the Staples Word Lock. This is really, really oh, neat. Oh, that is very cool. Um, so, what it is, is it allows you to, instead of using um, numbers for your combination, you can actually use words. Uh, so, what I've done here, it's really, really easy to set. And it's really inexpensive. It's about Mac. $6. I've done Mark S. Oh, have So let's see here. That Sorry, happens guys. to be my name and surname initial. There you go. So Love that's it. Uh, and then it just opens up, and then all you do is you just lock it up again. But it's probably so, not recommended you use your own name because then if somebody wants to break into your locker, it'd probably be pretty easy to figure out the good, combination. Good point. All and right. that's why it's very easy. Actually, once you, if you want to reset it, you just open it up. We're just a little bit off here. But um, all you have to do is open it up again, and then you can just reset it by holding this button in on the side right here. And then you actually just turn these around and reset, and you can spell another word. That is very cool. And you can spell any word you want. So, um, yes, well, uh, yeah. swear words are okay if you mm -hmm. want to do that, but maybe you... Your you home monitor may have something yeah, to say exactly. about that. Yeah, exactly. So that's a really neat thing for kids if you know they have a hard time remembering their locker combination yeah, it's just more fun right cool um, you don't have to get the janitor to come with the you know open did that up. happen to you yeah like? yeah yeah he had to bring the big uh what do you call those pliers you know what are they what are they called yeah, the pliers, the big, the big pliers to cut through Did, the lock. Oh, it's not yeah. pliers, it's something else, not I think. Pliers. I know what you're talking yeah. about. Bolt cutters. Yes, cutter, right. yeah, right. for sure. Yeah, that never happened to me, actually, but oh, okay. um, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right, can we please get to the microphone? Okay, okay. I mean, okay. Micro, micro microphone. Microscope. Hello. Um, okay, this is another product by Digital Blue. Um, and, and we did look at a microphone from them, so that's why I'm not that off. Exactly, we looked at a karaoke machine mm -hmm. from them. And Same what company. this is, is a uh, Digital Blue, it's, it's a microscope for kids, and it co connects directly to your PC, mm -hmm. and uh, via USB. 
B, and it's about $80. And as you can see here, um, we have a potato chip, which you probably mm. didn't know that was a potato chip I did in not here. Know. That um, looks like a nice sunset with clouds. Oh, yeah, it yeah, did. exactly. So a we're going to just chip. turn it here a little bit. And so this allows you to change the zoom mm. on the microscope. So it's really easy to use. So it's very, very kid friendly. So I think you know, any kid in elementary school could use it. And I know a lot of the people in the office here have had some fun with this as so well. So it's doing like, it's sort of like a digital zoom because using your computer? Exactly. So you're just zooming in. So we can see here's the potato chip. Um, actually, sorry, we just have a little bit of a live update there. All right, there um, we go. <laughs> we'll just get out of that. Um, cancel, and maybe? Yeah, we'll cancel that. Cool. Hold on. So Computers. that is the, um, that's a chip up close. You exactly. can see the fat very nice. You can see the fat very close. And then you can change. straight to my hips. Yeah, you can change it and you can, you know, um, you know change the different um, zoom ratio. And then you right. actually have to focus in on it a little bit. Can so. you take a screenshot? Yes, like you can. So we'll take a look at this. Let's make it, see, that's pretty disgusting. Oh, love it. I know. It just looks like fat, doesn't it? it so does. then we'll check glistening, out here. Glistening. I know, glistening. Um, so all you have to do, if you want to take a picture, just click here, nice. take a snapshot. Make it your wallpaper. Um, yeah, you can make a <laughs> potato chip, close up your wallpaper if you're into that. I bet um, you play one of those games where you have to guess what the picture is. That's pretty is. disgusting, isn't uh, it? Uh, your kids eat this, so that's probably not. I mean, not I your kids. That's a staple. And then you can easily, as you can see here, you can just delete this sample, which is really, really easy, or you can record a little movie here if you want to record that. Oh, that's actual. cool. Yeah, so that's kind of neat as well. Um, and as you can see by all these buttons, I mean, it's really friendly, really easy to use, just like the karaoke machine that we looked at from Digital right, Blue. So right. I love their products because of this. From microphones to microscopes. Oh, for sure. So, you know, you can do lots of different things. You can change the brightness. Um, really, really easy. It's playing some music now, which oh, is kind of fun. Oh, it plays music, too. Um, so they a great way for kids at home to basically take a microscope and go mm -hmm. out and, you know, find flies or worms or those types of things. Or, <laughs> <laughs> or potato chips. <laughs> or potato chips. Indigenous to okay. some... Yeah, all right. You were going to say and, something about Prince Edward Island. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to go there. Okay. I'm not going to pick on you today. <laughs> so what's the price point of this? It's $80. So okay. that's nothing. I mean, yeah. that's really, really, really inexpensive. So it's a, a great little toy for kids and get them interested in science. So I think it's a fun, fun project. One of my favorites. Yeah, very cool. I would actually want to stay on that for a while. I was going to cut a piece of your hair and put it under there, but... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I need all I can, you know, I need you all can, I... You need all you can right. get. Okay, Thank so you. this is the next product. And um, this is more for kids um, who are in university or maybe late in high school. So in grade, you know, up to grade mm -hmm. 10, 11, 12. Um, what it is, is allows, we'll just turn it on right here. This runs in the Palm system. It's called the uh, Dana by Alpha Smart. Oh, sweet. Um, so, you know, actually, I, if we can just tilt it up tilt a little bit more, little bit. Amber, you can actually see the icons. It's uh, familiar Palm icons there. I just wanted to make sure our camera got that. So, you, it, it is a touch screen as well as. It's a touch screen as well. So, you just use a little stylus pen. And the idea is that basically, if you were in university, you could take this to class with you instead of carrying around a big, bulky notebook or and a it's laptop. Your and it's your organizer, and you can also take notes in Microsoft Word, and you can save those. So it has a full-size keyboard. Uh, and it does it also synchronize with your computer as well? Exactly. Okay. You can sync everything. So it has key. little SD memory cards that you can, you know, save files on. Oh, great. And then you can sync all the files. So you could take notes in class, and it's really, really, really light. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a better way than carrying around your entire computer. And probably the battery life is better than a laptop as well. For sure. So the battery life would be better. It's more compact. It fits in a backpack. So a really neat thing to do for, wow. you know, a nice gift maybe for a university student, um, you know, someone who's in class and wants mm -hmm. to take a lot of notes. And it's really easy. Like Very I said, cool. full-size keyboard. So Data about, wireless. Yeah, that's about four hundred and thirty dollars. Oh. Yeah, it's a little we'll expensive, okay. but you know it's cheaper than a laptop, and you know it's a nice a nice gift for maybe your kid in school. When your kids get to school, yeah, Mark, don't want to get you there. Might change yeah. your tune about yeah. If, I, if I'm going <laughs> to complain about four hundred thirty nine dollars, I don't know what I'm in for. Thanks, yeah, Amber. Trouble. And now it's time for our staff pick segment, one of our favorite uh, pieces on this show. And today we've got our intern Maurice here with his number one website. And judging by the number on uh, the number of jerseys he owns, it's probably something sporty. Mm. Let's see. All right, Maurice is here with his favorite website. You're not wearing, obviously, a sporty jersey, no, but I'm not, I no. think this has something to do with what we're going to look at. <laughs> yeah, well, basically, I'm not originally from Canada, and, and a lot of sports I'm into, like soccer and auto racing, Formula One racing in particular, you can't really get a lot of coverage on TV or in, in the newspapers here. Mm -hmm. So anyways, I have this website here. It's Eurosport.com. Make sure you put in the www when you go to it because it doesn't always load up. But Eurosport.com, and basically it's a European news soccer uh, and sports news network called and football over there yeah <laughs> called football in england yeah, and they have exactly. all the sporting news on here they have it's a really well done website yeah, it looks cool you can see here on the left they have um information about live events going on so you mm -hmm. can see live up-to-date timing on the tour de france right. and uh they had the olympic vote not long ago to see where they're gonna have the right. 2012 yeah, olympics england. so they have live stuff on the left and then at the top they have all the sports so they have football tennis uh, motorsports, so you can go to Formula One, 
Oh, wow. And during the race, they'll have live updates of who's who's first and everything. Right. So if you're in North America, you're a fan right. of Euro sports like F1 or rally racing. Exactly. Or, rally or racing, football. they're really good. Sweet. You know, they have it all here. Great. They have videos and stuff. www.eurosport.com. So www Thanks, right. Maurice. Good Sorry thing. I cut you off there, but we are out of time. And thank you for watching today. Remember, if you're looking for links to any of the products shown today, visit uh, gadgetsandgizmostv.com. On behalf of the G&G team, I'm Mark Saltzman, telling you it's not the final score that counts. It's the gadgets that you use to win the game. See you next time.